The Enhanced Fujita Scale. You've probably heard us talk about tornadoes in terms like EF1. Ever wonder where those come from? The EF, or Enhanced Fujita Scale, is not based on wind speeds like how we rate hurricanes. Instead, it's based on damage left behind. That means even a large tornado could have a low rating if it doesn't cause much damage. For example, if a tornado touched down in an open field but there wasn't any damage, well, we rate it EF0. But if an even smaller tornado were to drop into a neighborhood and damage some houses, well, we're looking at a rating that could be EF2. Let's look at each rating from 0 to 5 and the typical damage that occurs, starting with EF0. We're looking at wind speeds from 65 to 85 miles per hour with minor damage, shingles being torn off of roofs, damage to gutters and sidings, and even some shallow trees can be pushed over. Next up, an EF1, seeing as winds get up to 112 miles per hour, now roofs can be stripped of their shingles, mobile homes are badly damaged, along with loss of exterior doors and windows. Next, an EF2's estimated wind range speeds from 111 to 135 miles per hour. Roofs are now torn off of houses, mobile homes completely destroyed, and large trees are snapped up and uprooted. Things can get even more deadly as objects in the air are described as missiles and can, be and can cause serious injuries, if not death. Moving on to the EF3, winds are now upwards of 165 miles per hour. Entire stories of well-constructed houses, gone. Large buildings like shopping malls are severely damaged. Trees can even be stripped of their bark. Next, an EF4. These winds can reach up as 200 miles per hour. That's faster than a race car. Now, it's truly devastating damage that these tornadoes leave in their wake. Whole framed houses leveled, leaving only the foundation. And finally, the extremely dangerous EF5 with winds over 200 miles per hour. The only thing left of even brick homes is the foundation. Automobile sized missiles are thrown farther than a football field with these storms. Now, they are rare, but they do cause most of the fatalities from tornadoes. But remember, a tornado of any strength can prove dangerous and deadly if you're not prepared. Use this knowledge to keep you and your family safe. And when there is a possibility of severe weather in your area, stay tuned to the First Alert Weather Team and get alerts on your First Alert Weather app.